Indian restaurant in Bahrain shuttered for denying entry to hijabi woman. According to the Tribune News of Bahrain, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, or BTEA, shut, shut down a restaurant after a manager refused entry to a woman wearing a hijab. Bahrain's authorities took notice of the incident after a woman, a video of a woman explaining what had happened at the restaurant circulated on social media. Lantern's Lounge and Restaurant issued a public statement on their Facebook page stating that the manager's behavior was unacceptable and that he has been suspended. The Deacon Herald, a Karnataka-based news agency, reported that the manager who blocked the woman was of Indian descent and that he had been suspended indefinitely. In India, persecution of Muslims, mi Muslim minorities has become increasingly normalized in public life. Currently, India is grappling with controversies surrounding female Muslim students wearing the hijab in government-run classrooms, and many people believed that this discriminatory incident was a reflection of this anti-hijab attitude making its way beyond India's borders. However, the Independent UK, in an update to their article regarding the incident, said that the manager was British and not Indian. However, this did not stop people from throwing harsh criticisms against the supposed Indian identity of the manager. Oh my God, this is racism or bigotry responded with bigotry, okay? So we had anti-Islamic bigotry, which is horrible. And then in response, people responded with anti-Indian bigotry. That's basically what just happened. Um, yeah. So, so why did he, what, what, the manager that was at the place, um, so is it, this is an Indian restaurant with a British manager? Is that how, Okay, how so it, it is an Indian restaurant in Bahrain. It was originally reported that the person who did this discriminatory action was an Indian Hindu. And then it was corrected by the woman who posted on social media about it. It didn't happen to her. It happened to a friend that she was with that actually the manager was British. Now, what is confusing and frustrating to me is as people are talking about this news online, people are re repeatedly conflating uh, nationality with ethnicity with religious background. So right. it's difficult to actually know some of the dynamics or group identities of those involved. Because hmm. Because just because this oh. person they aren't Indian mm. or of Indian descent, and doesn't mean that they aren't Hindu, but people are just assuming because they're saying that they're British that this person is now white, which isn't necessarily the case. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just when a mess all British, around. Somebody could be Indian. Okay, so yeah, you're right. So people are saying he's Indian, and then people are like, no, actually he's British. Well, technically, both of those things could be true at the same. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somebody, somebody could be a British like Indian. <laughs> <laughs> right, like I mean, I mean, I don't know. It's British. Um, British doesn't refer to um, um, ethnicity, does it? Like you could be Brit no, yeah, okay. So you could be British Indian, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's yeah. People just, but also I have to, we have to be careful because I think like we also have to be very responsible because I think a lot of people even in our community. When they would assume, like when they hear news like this, and they're like, "Oh, it was an Indian manager," I think a lot of people would be like, "Of course, Indian. That's you would expect that." You know what I mean? So we have to be careful not to set that those expectations, those stereotypical expectations, especially because our channel is responsible for covering a lot of news about bigotry against Muslims in India. I don't want. I want to be careful not to. Not, not for us to encourage um, an audience that all of a sudden expects that for from somebody with an Indian background. You know what I mean? People are like, oh yeah, you're Indian, so you're more likely to be a bigot towards Muslims. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to do to be, make sure that we're not responsible for that because we need to cover the news in India when it comes to bigotry against Muslims. That's a news that needs to be covered. Okay, but our constant reporting of that might leave might encourage certain perspective on people that uh, from people that that we don't welcome right so you, maybe we could what we have the way we could like fight back against that is by by using a news item like this to be like guys just 
don't like yeah this was an indian restaurant and you would I, i'm pretty sure a lot of us would just be like oh yeah indian restaurant kicked out a muslim how how expect how expectable right um, well, that was like that's what was so interesting because this story as we're covering it is really like a story about a story it's like a story about media analysis at this point because that's how it was originally reported on by everyone it was like look at how you know this supposedly reportedly indian person has the gall to go out in bahrain of all places and discriminate against a hijabi woman right um, yeah you're right actually i wasn't even thinking about that you're in bahrain <laughs> What the hell? Regard actually, regardless of who did it, the ethnicity or nationality of the person who did this, they had a, a lot Wait. of nerve. We're like, what were they expecting to happen Wait. in the middle of Bahrain? Like, yeah, like isn't hijab like common in Bahrain? How would you? It, was she wearing a niqab or something? Like, what was he thinking? Like, what was he exactly thinking? Can you like what happened actually? Exactly, do it, we it know? It doesn't make any sense. What were you? Yeah. <laughs> Like, wouldn't you be, wouldn't you have to like um, shut down the restaurant to like 25% of the women there if you want to ban hijabis? It's so weird. Well, and also like the, the, Maybe. the tourism and exhibition agency, like the restaurant got shut down over this. Right. And I then mean, it maybe. got reopened in the restaurant, you know, it was like having, we're, we're a night of free food for everyone to kind of like make up for this incident. Um, I mean, it's not fair to the restaurant. You had like one stupid manager. I don't think the rest of the employees at the restaurant should be punished for this one manager, <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Murtaugh's captain is saying, let's discriminate against the dominant group. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, okay, so I don't think in Bahrain most, how many women in Bahrain, like, I know it's an Islamic country, but how common is a job? I don't like, know. If we, I know this is not the best way to look for it, but if we search for Bahrain woman in Google Images, I'm I'm thinking I'm getting a 50-50 split on hijabi, non-hijabi. Okay, now maybe like we're actually more hijabis. Yeah, I'm getting a whole bunch of hijabis, and I would think Google Images it would be. I know it's just not the scientific poll. The authoritative anything, but... source of Google Images. But yeah, but you look at for Bahrain woman. I'm getting more hijabis. Yeah, at least half of them are hijabis. So I don't understand. Like, mm -hmm. what is this? What this? Maybe there. Maybe this is not exactly what happened. Like, I can't imagine mm. somebody living in Bahrain thinking like, "Oh yeah, no hijabis here. Thank you." In the in the middle of an Islamic country, having a restaurant. Like, I there must be some like either this person is like a complete idiot, um, or the news is not being reported accurately. I don't know. Bubble sure. is asking a good question. So, is it? what do you think about the government shutting down that restaurant because of this incident is is that excessive i mean they didn't shut it down permanently right yeah so i mean they did something illegal I, i'm assuming discrimination is illegal i yes. think they're I, I think it's fair as they're enforcing the law they're like your business is doing something illegal and get your act together before we open it. I don't think that's excessive by the government. Do you think that's excessive by the government? I think that's fine. Um, it depends on the the like timeline of events. Like if they shut it down even after they had suspended the manager, then I don't think that's fair. Like if the restaurant had already taken the you know um, corrective action and they still shut them down, I feel like that's not necessarily right. Um, yeah. But it, personally, I would prefer like a fine or maybe like an, ex, an, an inspection. Um, yeah, it, it, it depends on kind of how things uh, actually, f the events followed each other. <laughs> Murtad Skeptic is saying, it reminds me of that restaurant that went out of business after introducing their progressive new man tax. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we have somebody in the live chat not getting how... The difference between... oh regsy boys being our local do to do once again <laughs> saying brit because i can't use derogatory language on youtube <laughs> saying is british british is indian are you freaking real believe it or not regsy boy there are people of indian descent who have lived in britain for generations yeah so Shocking. you could be british and yeah you could be 
ethnically um, or national, uh, you know, your nationality could be Indian and British at the same time, or you could just be only ethnically Indian, born in India, born in Britain, and be British, right? If you're born, you have you have, could have lived in your families for generations could have lived in Britain. Um, and you're born there, and you live there, and you have went to school there. You would be a British Indian. So what's what's the? I don't understand what the what's the confusion there. Yeah, here, <laughs> random Buddhist guy is saying this. Random Buddhist guy is saying that he thinks it was a British citizen of Indian Hindu ancestry. Okay, we have no way yeah. to verify this. Again, like I said, the news articles that I was reading about this like continually conflated all of these different groups. So it's very unclear about kind of the identity of the person who did the discrimination, who did the bad thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, Atheist Republican is saying, I mean, Bubble is saying, South Hall in London looks more Indian than my neighborhood in India. <laughs> oh, um, this is an, yes, that's, this is a, and that's actually a good thing for, uh, for London because mm -hmm. I don't know if this is racist against the British, but they don't have good food. Is that racist to say? No, I mean, everyone the, knows that the best food the in national England comes from Indians. That's yeah, like I mean, even accepted by the British. <laughs> like yeah, they made tikka I mean, masala. <laughs> like like every, from all the countries that have like a famous like national dish. Okay, like think about the British national dish is fish and chips. Fish and chips. Okay, like you needed India. Like United Kingdom needed Indians. Okay, if if it's just for the sake of the food, they did need that. Okay. Um, Ibn Qayyim saying Shia suffer from a lot of discrimination in Bahrain by the Sunni minority who control most of the wealth in the country. That's true. And that's why the Islamic Republic of Iran is trying to use the Hussein narrative to make them rise up against the authorities. It's trying, this is why Bahrain is a lot of, uh, very afraid of, uh, of Iranian influence. By the way, the Iranian influence in Bahrain makes the oppression against Shia minority even stronger because the Bahrain officials are afraid of the Shias because of the Shia Iranian influence on them. So, you know, it's not, it's not working in their favor at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is this? We can read this last and then we go to the next. PK is saying Indians are not allowed dual nationality. Indians have fought for UK in the world first world war. Well, okay. I'm not sure about this. Is this okay. a policy of the Indian government or a policy of the British government? That's not clear to me. Okay. In that case, then the, you could be in, ethnically Indian and British at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Maybe not. If that's well, true, that's what we were maybe... talking about in the first place. No, no, but because he, I give, he's responding to one of my examples. I, I give uh -huh. like you could be either ethnically Indian and British, or your nationality could be Indian and British at the same time. But apparently, that is if that if he's right, then that is not possible. Um. Oh yeah, this is actually a very funny thing. The British, Bobo is saying the British colonize the whole world looking for spices. But still make crappy food. <laughs> okay, so the they're gonna insult here... the national treasure that is Gordon Ramsay. How dare you? Oh, actually, you're right. But but that means that if you want good food, you need to be colonized by India instead of colonizing India. Okay, so that's how it works. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 